Okay, guys. Who's next? I believe Virgo's next for the love read. So, I don't have my mic, so I'm hoping you can hear me. Anyway, before we get started, let's pray. Great creator, Father God. Wow. Just that whole deck messed up. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, that is interesting. It's never done that to me before either. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. For any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Virgo for this there love read. In Jesus' name, amen. So one more shuffle of the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle card deck. We'll do one more. Then draw two cards and fix these. That's so funny that this. Oh, it has never done that to me before. Memory, forget me not. New Zealand Red Admiral. Now, if you can see the card, I think you can. It's a dragon, but it looks like a butterfly. It's got butterfly wings. Very beautiful. And one off the bottom. Dignity, Dahlia Orion. That's funny, the forget-me-not. Dignity and memory. Let's keep going here. It's like the memory is from a um, previous life, past life. Okay, let's go to the Enchanted Mask Oracle card deck. There's no time stamp on the message. Whenever you're led to the message, exactly when you need it to hear it. So, Virgo. Mountain. Six. Six is human number. Number of humanity. Social. Two. This is Gentle Gardener. Two is number of connection. Gentle Gardener is like the seven of pentacles. Because there's another card in the deck where these eggs and the fairies are all grown up. So, to me, this is like seven of pentacles. Planting new seeds in a connection. But I feel like this, the mountain, there's an obstacle in the way. It's like you want to plant new seeds here. And you want to connect with this person. But there's this mountain in the way. We'll just put it that way. And Sacred Pool, 47. 47 reduces down to 11. It's an angelic number. Sacred Pool. I feel like Sacred Pool was talking about... Um, I'm going to look that one up. I am going to look that one up. And yes, sometimes we do look up the cards. Because I wouldn't do this deck justice. And I feel like a message could be lost here. Sacred Pool... The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. When you look in the mirror, do you like what you see? This card asks that you focus on self-love, self-esteem. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. A detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? Did you Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes when you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit it becomes easier to act in good conscience then you'll reap the greatest rewards your unique service to the world is not only needed but celebrated see the world within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters it will return to you tenfold be at peace for you are beautiful and loved act with surety and confidence and success shall be yours whatever your inquiry I feel like with the mirror, this could be a twin flame situation too. Especially with the mirror reference and the 11. So, let's go to the tarot and see if my twin flame indicators come out. See if it really is twin flame situation here. Mm 
more shuffle. <laughs> that was a sloppy shuffle, let me tell you. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. Anyway, Virgo. Judgment. And I like this is the Nightmare Before Christmas deck, okay? I like that the Judgment card is Santa's naughty list. That's hilarious. That's, that's hilarious. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Two of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. King of Swords. Five of Cups. And... Seven of Pentacles. There's the Gentle Gardener. There was a connection here that was stolen. Because someone said... Or had stuff to say about this person. There was something that was said... Something that was believed where judgment was passed. First card out is judgment. And I feel like that's you making a judgment call. Look, when you're dealing... If you're dealing with Twin Flame connection. If you're dealing with the energetic connection. Twin Flame. Whatever you want to call it. Listen to me. What ends up happening. What I've seen. Is that before the real one shows up. A fake one crosses the path. It's just like soulmates. And it's it's the equivalent of finding a life partner. You'll get someone that is not first. Because it's like the world wants to tempt you into going a different direction. Like it, it's strange. Like you'll get a fake one before the real one shows up. And I feel like you made a judgment call here. Ace of Pentacles. There was an opportunity with this person but, but it was stolen from you. Like, I feel like the connection was stolen. I do. Or at least you feel like it's stole, it was stolen from you. You may have made a judgment call to walk away. I feel like you made a judgment call to where it was picking between two things. And you pick one over this person. It could even have been picking another person. Because this person was your equal. See that? Two of Wands. Two of Wands is mentally feeding one another. It's being able to match one another's wit, intelligence, understanding. It's equals. If you feel like it was stolen from you, where you made a bad judgment call, the opportunity is coming around again. Wheel of Fortune. If this was externally stolen, the opportunity was stolen from you. Wheel is turning around again. If two people are meant to be together, they'll find a way to be together. That's the entire purpose of the Twin Flame Connection is where it's two souls that have the entirety of the world thrown at them. They have the odds stacked against them and they still find each other. That's what a Twin Flame Connection is. In the meantime, before they meet, they're already healing one another telepathically, energetically, stuff like that. That's a Twin Flame Connection. Wait, there's an opportunity here where it's coming back around. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. This is working with your spirit team and learning. This is healing. This is growing. This is ascension. Page of Pentacles. There's that perpetual student. Now listen. King of Swords. This is your energy now, but it's one of those things of be careful not to be what is the term that I'm looking for? 
Be careful. It's not their energy. It's the other person's energy. Be careful not to be off put by the fact that they're going to be like this. They're going to be very guarded. So it's not your energy. Huh. Yeah, they're going to be very guarded. They're not going to believe this. Five of Cups. There's nostalgic energy here. This is both sides. Let's see, when you talk about mirror, one, and see, it's not, it's not both doing the same thing. That's not what a mirror is, okay? A mirror is opposite of what one does. If it's, and this is twin flame, if this is twin flame connection here, um, social economic differences, this is also one being stuck in the past, the other one having had pulled themselves out of it. Do you see where the one will pull themselves out of the past or this nostalgic, like going back over and over decisions that needed to be made, regrets, healing that. One will pull themselves out, the other one will go into it. Until both sides are healed with this. There's a guarded energy here, but this is your past energy. Now, they're the ones that are guarded. Do you see how the mirror is? It's not the same thing. It's opposite. When one deals with something, the other one's not dealing with it. They heal from it, but it's healing the connection. So that one is the lead. One goes through it first, leads the other through it. And it can go back and forth. The mirror turns. I mean, and you have this seven of pentacles. Now listen, if you're going back over the past and deciding to do this differently, that's good. That's good. And, and it's funny too. I'll say this too. <sighs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you when it comes to different energies with Swim Flame Connections, okay? The nostalgic Five of Cups energy, one will be knee deep in it. Knee deep in it. The other one will be just going forward. Now, the moment that the one that's knee deep sees the sun, the other one's going back into the past. Almost like they revisit it one morning. And it just pops up for them because it needs to be healed. So the cycle is going to keep doing this. But if one's able to pull themselves out, because that's what the great creator does too. It gives them a break in the healing, if that makes sense. The other one's going to feel it. One will be in the sun. The other one will be feeling that. But there's a potential here. Plant new seeds. This is trying again. Seven is number of creation. It is. This is creating a new future. Creating new steps. Creating a new chance. This is planting seeds. This is um, setting the fields. Making sure they're tended. This is having, by the time you get to Seven of Pentacles, it's like you have planned out the fields, you've cleaned the fields of all of the boulders, the rocks, anything that would um, suffocate the seed so that you can try again. This is a new opportunity at this. So for the collective sign of Virgo, And that's the thing, too. I keep looking at this card, Dignity. I don't think you've told anybody that you're dealing with this. Like, there's an energetic connection that you're going through, and you haven't told anyone. You haven't told anyone. Because I get there's an energy of the Dignity where it's suffer in silence type of thing questions in silence this is like researching on your own 
not asking anyone else. So yeah, for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your quick little love read. You don't necessarily have to move the mountain. I feel like the mountain's part of the journey. But the opportunity is coming again to start this all over again. Like I said, for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your love read. Hope it helps. Love and light.